4th of the 7th, 2011. To my American friends, happy 4th of July. We're going to start with energy news now. Los Alamos residents warned they will see smoldering landscapes on the hills surrounding the towns. Unbelievable! Large city 60 kilometers from meltdowns has three to four times radiation levels at which Soviets evacuated everyone in hospitals up to 500 to 700 times normal. Just insane things going on. They cannot stop the information coming out of Fukushima, Japan. Video of damaged spent fuel pool number three reveals single bundle of fuel that is very near water surface. There should be a lot of bundles. Uh, they have a video on this and of course that's number three with the MOX plutonium fuel. And current cesium-137 measurements in Japan similar to amounts seen in April. So uh, apparently we've had another event take place that they're not telling us about. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, right now Greenpeace sounds alarm about contamination dangers of crippled Fukushima plant. And that, that's the RT uh, interview video that I'm sure most of you have seen. Uh, tropical storm Arlene slams into Mexico, leaving 11 people dead. Indonesia's Mount Sopatan erupts with 6 kilometer ash cloud. And that's a uh, we got a pretty good picture of that. Oil spill on Montana's Yellowstone River forces evacuations. And uh, of course I covered the story on that last night. And Scott.net's got Mount Supatan Volcano in Indonesia story. Power outage as Phoenix temperature hits record 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And about 4,000 homes in the metropolitan Phoenix area are without power and air conditioning on a record-shattering day of heat on one of the nation's hottest cities. And of course, they still have fires going on out there. Uh, I got a story, Yellowstone oil spill up to 1,000 barrels. I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm sure it's they're missing a few decibel points on that number as well to the public. Vermont's U.S. borders report mysterious bubbling um, quasi- an investigating source of a mysterious bubbling in Lake Quasapog only turned up a few beer cans. Police were told last week that something was causing bubbling in the north end of the lake near a cove a few days after a boat had been speeding away from the area. It's kind of odd. Heavy rain swamp crops near Hartwood, North Dakota. And again, crop loss continues. Uh, extreme heat hits Southern California, highs of 112 degrees forecast in some areas on Saturday. And that was a couple days ago. And that is about all I have for you tonight. I'm going to keep it short, and there doesn't seem to be a lot going on, thankfully. Uh, if I missed anything, please attach your videos below, or leave your comments, of course. And uh, here from the capital of Iowa, enjoy while you can. Happy 4th, everybody.